A plan to set a national standard on driver's licenses is setting off a political revolt nationwide. More than half of the 50 states say no way. The controversial question, would it make Homeland Security better or worse? Joan Messner of the Coalition for a Secure Driver's License joins us from New York. And Jim Harper of the Cato Institute in Washington says the program called Real Idea, ID is a real bad idea. That's what I was trying to say. So we'll start with Joan. Uh, state your case. Why do you think it's a good idea? Um, I think it's not only a good idea, I think it's critical. Um, if the terrorists had not had driver's licenses, there probably would not have been an attack on 9-11. They used the driver's licenses, which they got in easy states at that time, uh, which were, a pencil, I think, um, Florida and uh, Virginia and... Um, I don't remember the third state, but they used the easy states to get driver's licenses, which they took flying lessons with and um, rented cars and trucks with and boarded planes with. So hmm. the most obvious thing is to fight terrorism. Okay, so Jim, you've called this plan a form of blackmail against the states. Why do you say that? Well, the federal Congress is telling, telling states that if they don't issue IDs to national standards, uh, their residents won't be able to fly on airplanes, access federal buildings, and so on and so forth. Right now, states across the country are saying, we're not going to buy that. Uh, we're going to reject this real ID, national ID. Uh, we don't believe that our citizens are terrorists. We don't believe that our citizens are criminals, and they shouldn't be treated that way. So they're not going to fall for this uh, uh, federal blackmail of, of the states. Hmm. And there's also the question of cost. Joan, you know, the estimated cost of this plan is $11 billion, and um, uh, critics the say... That's the costs have been grossly exaggerated. In New York, which implemented this in about 2004, um, they're figuring a cost between $1 and $2 per license. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a high price to pay to keep our land safer than it is without secure licenses. And the idea that this is blackmail just doesn't make any sense. We should have a standard driver's license across the country so that identities can be checked across the country. If you have a child molester in Florida who comes to Virginia, um, why should he get a license in Virginia without it not being discovered that he has a record and should not be getting a license? Hmm. So, Jim, is this, though, going to make things safer? Well, people who have studied identification carefully, as I have, and I've read a, written a book on it, uh, know that ID is very good for keeping the law-abiding citizen in line and for tracking our movements and what we do. Uh, an ID, a national ID of this kind, does not prevent the criminal, does not prevent the terrorist from acting. There just really isn't any proximate correlation between the use of ID or false ID and, and terrorist attacks. Terrorists use surprise. Uh, they don't use anonymity to do what they want to do. Uh, the $11 billion dollar figure, by the way, comes from the National, how would they have from the national the Conference of State licenses? Legislatures. They would have used their passports, and they had accurate driver's licenses, and they'd be able they to get driver's Saudi licenses passports. under the Real ID Act. They had so Saudi they, they, passports. Which they could have used to get on the planes. And All they passed for the planes was identification. Well, I don't think they, they, were they were not on driver's licenses. They were not on watch lists. We didn't have any way of stopping them using this ID system, so it's t entirely mistaken that we'd get any more security. What we would get is tracking of the law-abiding citizen. No, that's Americans absolute, in, the, in this country I, that's absolutely should not wrong. be treated as criminals and made to join a national no, and, ID and system and have their information put in databases I'm afraid all your just premises for this false security. Wrong. I'm sorry to tell you, but your premises are wrong. First of all, across the country, the states are not rebelling. There are some states that are rebelling, but last night it was said on television that 75 percent of the citizens, not the governments, but the citizens are in favor of a state standardized driver's license. So these more than half of the of states have already state moved to reject the Real ID Act. No more, more than states half are the following states next week. No Georgia more than went half on the Friday. On Tuesday next week, it'll be uh, Utah and then Boise, Idaho. I'll be testifying there as well. And we'll watch that. It's a really interesting controversy. Thank you very much, Joan Messner and Jim Harper, for, for coming on and talking about it with us. Thank you.